You most likely know how things are going with former U.S. President Donald Trump, if you've seen any of his wildly popular rallies over the last year or so. Still, very few people consider what his wife Melania, the former first lady, is up to. Well, between a fake charity scandal, a social media platform, and vanishing accountant, she's got plenty going on. So then, let's have a look at the life of Mrs. Trump and ask, where is Melania Trump in 2022? The Charity Scandal Since leaving the White House in one of the most contested and queried elections in U.S. history, Melania Trump has tried to keep a fairly low profile and stayed away from scandals. But that all changed back in February when headlines emerged that began to turn a few heads. Of course, the media has never been kind to the Trump family, inexplicably turning heel on Donald Trump as soon as he began to imply a presidential run was on the cards in the early years of the last decade. But the New York Times reported in February that a charity event hosted by Melania was being investigated. The reason for this was that a portion of the ticket proceeds were said to be going to a charity organization that doesn't exist. The event, a high tea in Naples, Florida, was said to be going ahead to benefit fostering the future, a Be Best initiative. The charity was said to be granting computer science scholarships to those who have come through the foster care system. The specific portion of the tickets that would go to charity was unclear, but tickets ranged from $3,000 to VIP tickets costing up to $50,000 each. The charity laws of the state of Florida require any organization soliciting donations in the state to be registered. But the Times reported that there appeared to be no charity with the name Fostering the Future or Be Best registered in Florida at all. However, that's not the language that Mrs. Trump used, which made people think it was another witch hunt. Despite not wishing to communicate with the New York Times directly, possibly for fear of being smeared, Melania used Twitter as the platform to explain the arrangement. We are working with Bradley Impact Fund, a donor-advised fund to select charities that will receive the donations to foster children, the former first lady said, after stating that, everything has been done lawfully and all documents are in the works. Given what we know about the Hillary Clinton campaign spying on the Trump family and the White House during the 2016 election and even after, it's unlikely that the family would do anything to raise negative press. But still, it did make the headlines. Her accountants suddenly resigned. Something strange that did happen earlier this year was when the Trump family's longtime accountants all suddenly severed ties with the former president, his family, and his business, despite the fact that they were in the middle of preparing both Donald and Melania's tax returns. Querying the reliability of key company financial statements, the accountant seemed to suddenly quit and leave, which was revealed in a letter made public on Valentine's Day by the New York Attorney General, Letitia James. According to the letter, the accounting firm Mazars USA told the Trump Organization's corporate lawyer that they are stepping away from the Trumps. As part of the New York prosecutor's ongoing investigation into Trump, and his business, looking for any evidence at all of banking, insurance, and tax fraud. James filed the papers regarding Mazar USA's sudden departure. According to Mazar's, there were only a few tax returns that remained to be filed, including those belonging to Melania. Those returns were due on February 15th, but stood to miss that deadline due to holdups from a lack of info. Again, it seems strange that a family so brutally persecuted and criticized by the legacy media would do anything to draw suspicion on them. And so, it's your guess as to what happened here. Melania moves off traditional social media. Melania has decided, like her husband, to remove herself from mainstream social media platforms. This comes as little surprise when you consider the way that Twitter treated the family unceremoniously banning the former President Donald Trump from the platform indefinitely following the transparently peaceful protest that occurred on January 6th. As part of an obvious media panic and smear campaign, the protest was branded an insurrection, a ridiculous thing to suggest after the summer of 2020 had seen real riots, burning businesses and violence, even an autonomous zone at Capitol Hill perpetrated by the left wing. First, it's clear that the people on January 6th mostly committed no criminal acts or violence, but for a few crazies that were in attendance. And second, the media attempted to blame the entire thing on President Trump. This resulted in his total removal from Twitter, something that had lefties thrilled but terrified supporters of free speech on the platform. 
The other thing to remember is that two days later, an alternative social media platform to Twitter, known as Parler, suddenly had accusations thrown at it that it had been in coordination of some kind with the January 6th protest. Parler objected to the pressure from Apple to submit a moderation improvement plan, with founder John Matz Jr. saying they would not cave to pressure, accusing Apple of anti-competitive business practices. The platform was removed from the App Store the following day, at the same time as Amazon coincidentally decided to shut down their web services for the platform, effectively removing it completely. Multiple companies ceased doing business with Parler, but the platform did manage to make a comeback. The reason that we are going over all of this history is that Melania has come out recently saying that she will use Parler for exclusive communications and make it her social media home in 2022. Parler, having somehow recovered from its big tech beatdown, also spearheaded the launch of Melania's NFT, that's non-fungible token, and blockchain tech venture at the end of 2021. A new tech future. Of course, Parler is now a shadow of what it once was and many users found their way to other alternatives to the big tech monopoly, such as Gab, Mines, and Getter. That's all well and good, but it has shown that when the big tech companies take exception to you, or you threaten their obviously biased platforms with actual free speech, they can very easily take you down and keep you down forever. Of course, recent rumblings have completely disturbed such a monopoly. In Elon Musk's bid to take over Twitter, this has led to an insane backlash from the media and calls from Trump supporters to reinstate the former president. Such a thing would be a serious win for free speech and could alter Melania's plans too. The other thing that has come from the parlor scandal, the removal of the president from Twitter and Elon Musk, is the removal of the mask from the big tech companies. More than ever, people are realizing that they are hearing doctored and controlled information and that there is an agenda shared by the news media the big tech companies, and the Democratic Party in the U.S. Melania's decision to operate on Parler instead of Twitter is a bold one, one that may draw more people back to the struggling platform that once held Twitter accountable for its biases. However, it's going to take more than a former first lady joining to rebuild the kind of position that Parler once held. It's important not to forget that Trump himself decided to put together his own social network, known as Truth Social. This platform has had a struggling development, one shrouded in much secrecy. And even now, it's only available on the Apple App Store. It won't be available on Android, the platform that is far more popular worldwide. It's hard not to see Truth Social as kind of a failure to launch. And the fact that Apple, the company that deplatformed Parler, are involved is dubious at best. Still, Melania Trump will continue to try to stay out of any scandals in the meantime, and having a relationship with Parler is both some help to her staying out of her husband's social media affairs and also helpful to Parler, which needs some higher profile people on it to pull people back. After all, before they took him down, Donald Trump was by far the most popular account that Twitter had, as well as the thing that allowed the news media to thrive. Parlor would certainly benefit from a few polarizing characters on there to help draw the regular folks onto the platform. Without him, Twitter's stock has crashed and the left-wing news media have nothing to moan about except Elon Musk, who might be able to put a stop to all of this nonsense. What do you think about Melania Trump now? Are you interested in giving Parlor another go?